Have you ever wondered what it would be like if the voices in your head started talking back to you? Or if the things you are seeing aren't really there at all? These questions might sound strange, but for some, this is their daily reality. If you're curious about how this could be possible, then you've come to the right video. Today, we're going to talk about a mental health condition called schizophrenia. It's a topic that's not often discussed openly, but it's important to understand it. So let's dive right in and learn together. Let's take a look at its main points. First, we will see what it is, how many types are there, what are its symptoms, what causes it, how can it be prevented, how is it diagnosed, how can it be treated, and finally, its conclusion. First, we will understand what is schizophrenia. Let's see. Schizophrenia is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. This can lead to some very intense experiences like hallucinations, which means seeing or hearing things that aren't there, and delusions, which are strong beliefs in things that aren't true. It can cause people to pull away from the real world, losing interest in life, and struggle with everyday tasks. I hope you now have a bit of an idea about schizophrenia. Let's move on to the next point where we will learn about its types. Let's look at its types and understand them one by one. There are several types of schizophrenia and they can affect people differently. Let's start with paranoid schizophrenia, the most common type, where you might hear voices or believe that others are trying to harm you. Next, disorganized schizophrenia. This type can make it hard to think clearly and act normally. People might speak in a confusing way or struggle to complete daily activities. Next, catatonic schizophrenia. This is a rare version where people might stop moving or talking for a long time or move in weird, jittery ways. Each type affects people in different ways, making it important to understand which type a person has to help them in the best way possible. Friends, these were some of the common types of schizophrenia. Now, let's move to the next point where we will learn about its symptoms. Schizophrenia has many symptoms, but in this video, we have covered some common ones. Here are a few common symptoms of schizophrenia. People with schizophrenia might show these symptoms, just like hallucinations. This is when someone sees, hears, smells, tastes, or feels things that aren't there. For example, they might hear voices talking to them or telling them to do things, even though no one is around. It can be very real to the person experiencing it. Next, delusions. These are strong beliefs in things that have no basis in reality. For instance, someone might believe they are being watched, followed, or plotted against, or they might think they have special powers or are a famous person. These beliefs are very real to them and cannot be changed easily, even when shown evidence to the contrary. Next, confused thoughts and speech. People with schizophrenia might jump from one topic to another without any logical connection making it hard for others to follow what they're saying. They may also make up words or use existing words in a strange way, making their speech difficult to understand. Next, social withdrawal. This means pulling away from friends, family, and social activities. A person might isolate themselves, spending most of their time alone, and may stop communicating with others. This withdrawal is often because they find it hard to interact with people or because they're trying to protect themselves from perceived threats. Next, neglect of personal hygiene. People with schizophrenia might stop taking care of themselves. This could include not bathing, changing clothes, or attending to basic personal needs. This isn't because they don't want to be clean, rather they might not realize the importance or lack the motivation to do so. So, friends? Those were some common symptoms of schizophrenia. If you have information about any other symptoms, please write them in the comment box. Now let's move on to the next point. What are the causes of schizophrenia? Let's see. Some common causes of schizophrenia, but it involves a combination of genetics, brain chemistry, and environment. This means it can run in families and changes in brain chemicals might contribute, as well as factors like stress or drug use. These were some common causes. Now let's move on to the important points where we will learn how it is treated. Schizophrenia can be treated in several ways. Let's see. Medication, mainly antipsychotic drugs to reduce symptoms like hallucinations and delusions. 
And next, psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps change the thinking and behavior. Next, community support and recovery programs, including support groups, job training, and therapy to help manage everyday challenges. Treatment is usually lifelong and highly personalized. Friends, these were the methods to treat schizophrenia. If you feel any point was missing in this video, please do let us know in the comments section. Finally, let's look at the conclusion. Schizophrenia is a challenging condition, but understanding more about it can help reduce the stigma and support those affected. Remember, it's okay to seek help, and it's important to support each other. If you or someone you know is struggling, we encourage talking to a health professional. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. We will meet again in the next video. Until then, stay happy and take care of yourself. Thank you.